All right, so we've talked about lines, and when we were talking about lines, what we said it was a straight path that con contains no end, so it continues infinitely, um, and it has also no thickness. Um, but what, could, what is a line contained of is infinite many points. Well, to first draw up a line, we only need two points, which I'll label P and K. Now, when we talked about a line, you know, we said that it continues without end. But let's say for our problem or for our understanding, what if we don't want to continue without end? What if we want to find the measurement of a line or we want to use just a line that is contained between those two points? So I know, you know, this point contains infinite many points, but let's say I don't want it to contain, go without end. I actually want it to be, I only want my line to be between my two points. I only want to take I only want to include this measure. Well, then what we're going to call this portion of a line is called a segment. All right. Now, what's different with a segment compared to a line is a segment is a portion of a line that is between two points. Also, when labeling a segment, we're going to do it very similar to with a line. But now, rather than putting the end point or the arrows on the top of our line, we're just going to do a straight line on top. So therefore, again, we can label it PK or KP as order doesn't matter. But rather than putting the little arrows like we did for a line, since we're only taking the, the distance between our two points, we're just going to draw straight uh, points, a straight line or a straight line segment up top. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you got it. Thanks.